Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Wandering Village. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we've got something to decide here. Cliffside, your scavengers managed to locate the shrine, but there's one problem. It's embedded high up in a sheer cliff face and seems completely inaccessible. Oh, no. Looks like we'll have to climb to get there. There has to be another way to get up there. Let's look around. Trying to get up there would be too dangerous. Let's gather some rubble from below the cliff and leave. So gathering some rubble might mean we get some stones. But this is supposed to be knowledge. I want, let's, I'm scared if we climb up there that they're going to fall and, and die. So why don't we take the kind of easier way? Let's look for another way up. Oh, yes, your scavengers notice a small crevice on the back side of the cliff. It hides a secret passage leading up to the shrine from behind. Plus seven knowledge. That's a huge amount of knowledge. Absolutely amazing. Let's send them out again. We're going to be making another decision soon. And we do have our horn blower, so we'll have to get someone working in there. Now, we have so many hungry people. So ideally, this will take us out of... We could make some mushroom stew. We've got 27 mushrooms. Maybe let's switch over to mushroom stew for a minute and let's get everyone to go gather those mushrooms because 27 mushrooms is going to make quite a lot of stew. Oh, no, actually it's not. It takes seven mushrooms to make five stews. But we can't eat the mushrooms otherwise. At least this way, we can eat. Oh, see, because now Fern has starved to death. No. I don't want to lose more people. Okay, there are five stews there, people. If you're starving, you need to go get a stew. Go get a stew. Oh, look, no one's starving. Well, I guess all the starving people have died, so that's how you fix that problem, uh, apparently. What do we want to get? Oh, the feeding trebuchet to feed Anbu, or the Anbu pharmacy, or the sleep command is also very good. I think let's probably go for the trebuchet. Yeah. We have 10 knowledge, which feels very good. And what is this upper building? Oh, the village doctor. Right. The th problem, I think, is we don't have enough... Uh-oh, Anbu's sitting down. Uh-oh, Anbu's sitting down. Uh-oh. Right, prioritize this. Anbu's sitting down, which means we are going to be getting poisoned. Now, do we have any workers that could go in there? No. We'd have to steal workers from somewhere else, which is a bit concerning. Oh, we got 11 stone. All right, come over here and get more stone, I guess. They're going to be gone for quite a while. An air well is now constructed. We are desperately low on that. Maybe grab some workers out of here go down to three there i would rather not take anyone out of the kitchen if we don't have to but i do want more people working in those places Airwell's good okay we'll see unfortunately if people die that is <laughs> quite bad so we need we need the workers we've got three workers just doing air wells but we need the water that is kind of going up but then it's going immediately back down the food, we're going to be running out of mushrooms. That's it, right? We're out of mushrooms now. Switch back over to beets, because there are a few beets. We did as much mushroom stew as we possibly could. All right, the Anbu kitchen we'll put over here. Uh, makes sense to have it near the Anbu. Well, where we're growing mushrooms, we might grow more mushrooms up here. Maybe we could have two mushrooms growing up there would be maybe good. Or we could do the mushrooms down here and have a kitchen just for making soup. Hard to say, but that is, is the doctor's office in? Not yet, but it is high prioritized. So as soon as we get stuff, we should be bringing it over there. We just need three more wood planks. These are not getting the workers that they want. So we'll just keep it like that. Okay, good. Well done, Eve, moving them over. And what do we need? One more plank. Oh, it's not doing anything at the moment. Where are you? Bringing wood over? No, what are you doing? Oh, you're getting some food, I think. Right, we've got some food, which is great. It's nice to see that beet soups are up. The feeding trebuchet has been researched, so we'll want to build that at some point. All right, maybe there anyways. It's kind of as low as I can get it. Open research tree. What would we go for next? The uh, Anbu pharmacy, because we also need to get Anbu doctor. So it would be two things we'd need to get there. Or the dung collector is what I'm going for, because I clicked it already. Okay, <laughs> right. Do we have anyone poisoned? No, actually. Okay, that was lucky. Oh, only Anbu's gotten poisoned. Okay, fine. Good. I mean, not good, obviously. It's really bad if Anbu's poisoned, but <laughs> it's better than our people being poisoned, I think. I think. Yeah, I think we want to go. I'm glad. Okay, because we're going for the dung collector, which means we can go for the composter thing and then the decontaminator. So if we do end up running into a poison forest or a poison spore cloud or any of those poisony things, we'll hopefully be kind of close enough that we can deal with it. All right, our scavenger prey is nearly back. Now we're going to have to make a decision. But as far as we can see currently, either way, we're staying in the mountain biome. Which is not the worst, but it's also not the best because we are not producing beets very quickly. 
but the food situation has improved. So we've had, what, four people total starve? But if, if, we, if we can keep it at only four people, that is pretty good. But Anbu is getting quite hungry again. We may need to open this up again and have people doing mushrooms again. But then where do we take workers from, you know? We just need, we need all of them. You are not currently doing anything because so you don't have any wood. I mean, we could try to cut some trees down. There are tons of trees about. Currently no mother trees though, but I think, do they have to develop into mother trees over time? Is that how it always works? I can't remember. And we were really, really good on stone because we keep sending our scavenging party out and getting stone that way. We need some forests instead of these stones. All right, that would get us into a poison forest. This is hard to tell, but do I want to really avoid that? You can get poison spore clouds more frequently in there and poison forests, which if we went into and we got poisoned or we got poison forest on his back, we don't have a good way of dealing with those at the moment. I mean, we could deal with them, but we don't have a good way of dealing with them. The doctor is not quite built yet, but it should be built really, really soon. So let's get somebody into the horn blower first. Right, we need someone to come work here. We also have opened that back up, but we have no one to work there either. You're kind of a lone farmer. Maybe two farmers is enough. This is also closed. I mean, we're gonna need to open this again at some point as well. You're not currently doing anything, so we're just gonna close that for a second. Although, actually, no, you're the one that we need. Can we unlock, go back to work. Okay, someone's going here at least. So I think let's go, let's stay in the mountains. It's slightly safer. We get food a little bit slower, but the food situation is going a lot better. Oh, Amba doesn't trust her command. So it actually, it didn't matter at all anyways. Never mind then, on but you do what you want, <laughs> which apparently is take us into a poison forest. And that's all we've got. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll probably survive. Okay, we need someone to go back into working in the carpenter. So maybe we close the mycologist again. That means someone is going to work here. We need wood. They are starting to get trees cut down. It's just pretty slow going because we just don't have that many workers. We've got two general laborers. Certainly it says there's one person unemployed, but I don't... Oh, there we go. Okay, go and do more general working. Actually, can we swap you over to harvesters for a second? Go and get some wood for me, please. It's very important that you do that. Oh, the dung collector is done being researched. So let's open the next one, which I think... Oh, before we get the decontaminator, we need the compost heap so we can make the fuel. So we'll go for that one next. Let's get this dung collector built way back here. Oh, and there's starting to be berry bushes. Oh, good. Okay, so that, okay, as a negative trait, it, it's actually pretty quickly resolved. Like, yeah, you don't start with any berry bushes, but now we are getting berry bushes. So we could like actually start harvesting berry bushes if we wanted, but I probably want them to spawn so we can get some berry collectors later on because we obviously need to have all the different food types. Okay, Anbu is going this way. I'd like him to go get some trees. And oh, there's a ruined settlement there. That would be quite good. Oh, if we could get those, that would be quite good as well. Now we are going into a poison forest, which does make me a bit nervous. There's an Anbu sleeping spot. That's good. So he can sleep there, which is a bit annoying because he's probably going to miss these guys. I just don't think they're going to move fast enough. We move way faster than he does. And I can't make Anbu stop or slow down at the moment. Ooh, a rain cloud, I don't mind. That's going to help us get more water. The water situation is looking better. It was dire before. It's looking much better now. So that's good. Let's tick time on a little bit more. Have they built the doctors yet? No. We've got to be getting close though. Yeah, there are planks in here. We just need someone to move it. So let's switch these guys back over to general workers. That way, when they're done getting some sort of tree, they should bring over the plank. That will be all right. Now we are in the rain, which means we're, it's very humid. So these are all going to be working a lot faster. Assuming our people are in there working. Yes, there we go. Let's get a good collection of water going. Yes, the doctor's office is almost built. Yes, well done, Aldous. Aldous, I don't know how to say your name, sorry. <laughs> Let's get that built, yay. Okay, we have a doctor, but we don't need it yet. So I'm gonna close that. Nobody's poisoned, we don't, oh no, one person is badly poisoned. Hold on, what? What, since when? Uh, hold on, go work there, quick. We do have, since when was someone poisoned? Okay, Anbu's in the jungle biome now, which I think changes nothing for us. Like the beets are just gonna grow better, which is good. However, there's low air toxicity, so we're gonna be constantly getting a bit of poison. Oh, we're so close to getting those guys, but we're not going to make it. We're gonna try to get as much stuff scavenged as possible. We definitely need the trees, but we definitely also need that knowledge. But there's an Anbu sleeping spot where Anbu is almost definitely going to sleep. 
and lovely an Anbu feeding spot. That's going to sort our Anbu out kind of straight away, which is great. Ooh, and look, we're seeing our first hints of the ocean. Oh my goodness. I actually can't wait to see what they do to this game and how much more they add to it because Honestly, this is my favorite game of all time. Like, I absolutely adore this game. Okay. Oh, I'm so sad we're going to miss these guys. But there we are. We're walking right past them, unfortunately. Uh, they brought back 13 mushrooms, which is great. We don't have that open at the moment. We are n we just don't have enough people. We do have two people working in here, but it's keeping our food situation very healthy. And we've, we're starting to get lots and lots of beets. I mean, that is good. The water situation is looking very good. I would like to get... Oh, do we have a doctor going in there? Where are you up to? Moving to the herbalist. We, I think we need to get this opened up again. We always need to have herbs, right? So Anbu kitchen is being built, the Anbu trebuchet. We are a bit low on the wooden planks. What, where can I get people? I need workers. I mean, I, we could slow down the research, but I really don't want to slow down our research. I guess we could slow down the two farms. Oh, that seems like a terrible idea though, doesn't it? All right, well, we'll take one person from the farm. Then we still have three farmers total. And that farm is kind of the more priority one because it's closer to the kitchen, so it's a bit faster for things. Ah, oh, Anbu's evacuated his bowels. We're not ready yet, Anbu. Hold on. We're not even close to being ready, honestly. I wonder if we should prioritize that next. We actually don't need the Anbu food next. So yeah, let's prioritize that as the next one. Anbu is going to be eating soon, so he's going to be sleeping. We've missed these guys. I'm so sorry. Ooh, rain cloud again. Good. Oh, we need these guys to get back a bit faster. But at least Anbu is going to be sleeping. Sleeping in the rain, but still good. Okay, it's damp. That's that's very good. Okay, Anbu sleeping. Good. Our compost heap is researched. I think we might want to go for this next um, so that we can start getting some other food types for when we do go into other biomes. I mean, we're in the jungle right now, which is very good, but we're not going to always be in the jungle. Now, we want to put this kind of far away from where we're going to have houses. So I think way down here is fine. We might as well put those upright tight to each other, right? Sure. Put it there. We don't want a compost heap near where people live, so it does add a minus to our decoration. Right, Anbu is now sleeping in the rain, poor guy. And come on, I need you scavengers to get back faster. We have a lot of stuff we need to be getting. I don't want to miss out on these researches as like the shrines at all, because the research points are so, so, so important, as we know. Got more stuff we can be gathering on his back too, but I don't think we really have the workers to do it. Oh, you guys are out of beets? Why? No, you have, there's tons of beets. What are you talking about? Oh, his storage is full. Oh, we never built a pantry actually. I guess let's put a pantry in next door. Let's have them do that as a matter of urgency. Let's put you guys as builders. Oh, they brought back 25 bread. That's kind of good. Uh, Can you go? I can't click on the shrine because it's behind We'll go here to the woods first. I can't click on the shrine. It's behind the rain cloud. Oh, we could have got it there. That's okay. We'll go here first. That should be very quick for them to go to the forest. And then we'll go to the shrine. Then the other forest. Then the other shrine. That should work. Oh, Anbu's already waking up. That was fast, Anbu. Go back to sleep. We're not ready. We are not ready. Oh, but look at him when he's glowing. He's so cute. Carry on then, Anbu. Is this almost built? Still like removing the stuff that's in the way. So no, it is not almost built. Okay, people are eating the bread, which is good. It's giving them a bit of food variety. I don't think they care about food variety at the moment, though. No, food quality they care about. So they want to be not eating just like raw beets and stuff, which I guess is fair enough. And they care about decoration, but we don't have any decorations yet. We haven't unlocked it. We need to research that. But total productivity is 105%. So can't complain about that. Scavenging party has come back with our wood. Let's quickly send them off there. And Anbu will be stopping there to get some food. So hopefully we can go here to here to here. And then we'll have to reevaluate when we get. See what we can see. Now, we're going to have another choice to make. Oh, no. We're almost certainly going to hit that. And there's nothing I can do about it. We'll just have to hit it. We should. I mean, people can. We could grab everybody and just have them being punching the spore cloud things. So that. I mean, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened, but it's also not great. I mean, we really need more people working in these. If we had two on two, that would be super good. Are we currently poisoned? No, there's currently no one poisoned. So let's close the doctor off. And why don't you come work here actually instead? Or I don't know where you're going. Do not have enough resources for any of the things that we actually want to be building. <laughs> it's the wood slabs, wood planks problem. The wood slabs? No, the stone slabs, wood planks that we need. Oh, I was going to go here next. Whoops, my bad. Uh, that's okay. We'll go there. It's only a few hours. 
Anbu is having another snack, which is very helpful because he's actually really quite hungry. And what do we want to research next? Now, corn, corn would be good. Now, what I learned last time is that wheat is fantastic, but then you need the windmill and bakery sort of straight off. It would be very, very good. Like it's such a good source of food. So I kind of want to go for that. But thinking more, we need a decon decontaminator probably pretty quickly. Don't need a seawater collector right now. We're so far off from getting that. S like the Ombu pharmacy is going to be pretty important soon. And there's quite a lot of things in that to research. But I might be silly and just go for the wheat anyways. I did really like how I could bake bread last time. Like in our last playthrough, the bread was crazy. We got completely overrun with wheat because it just grew so well. Okay, Anbu is still eating. We're going to have a choice to make. Desert is one of the options now. Desert wouldn't be... Although we didn't just get corn. So maybe... Maybe we should have researched corn then. I mean, there's a good chance Anbu's not going to listen to us regardless of which direction we choose. So possibly corn would have been a good idea instead of wheat. But anyways, we'll just see. Because the beets don't grow in the desert, do they? Oh, wait. Do the beets grow in the desert? I mean, maybe we should change it then. Okay, hold on. I think just because we're very likely, I think, to end up in the desert... Let's go. Oh, uh, corn. Yes. Switch it. Research is lost, unfortunately, but I think that's probably still the better choice. Anbu is walking again. He's eaten. He's still quite hungry, though. Like, we could feed him a whole thing if we had the, the ability to feed him. And he is going to hit this, of course, because, I mean, what else would he do? Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Of course he was going to hit it. Go to the forest. We got three knowledge from that, which is good. We definitely have enough knowledge that we could get the bakery and windmill and a few other things, of course, because I think we have at 13 knowledge already. I don't want to hit this, but we're going to. <laughs> Maybe Anbu won't cho choose to go to the desert. That would be swell. Okay, some slabs are going out, which is great. This is such a long way for them to walk to get these things built. It always is because we always kind of build in this section and then it's like really far to get to the back end of him. Anyways, we'll, we just try. Okay, we're about to hit this poison cloud, which means we definitely need a doctor up and running. And we're definitely going to need max workers. I think what we'll probably do is take workers from literally everywhere. We've got a little bit of food to tie us over. We might just keep maybe one person in the kitchen. Hold on, are we there yet? We're so close to hitting that. We want to be super ready to make sure we can deal with the poison spores that peer up on his back and make sure nobody's getting poisoned. One doctor should be enough because we only have 20 people. But we're going to need as many people as we can to go and punch the spore plants. So we'll probably close all of this. We'll close all of these. 14 mushrooms have been brought back. I mean, we could, could get you guys to just temporarily help deal with this. Actually, I think we will do that. Let's close this. And also one of them is poisoned. Apparently. Yeah, you've gotten poisoned. Badly poisoned, even. Right, so we are now in the slightly toxic air. I'm going to take one person out of there. I'm going to take both of you out of here. Both of you out of here. So we've got... We haven't even going to be a doctor yet. Let's take both of you out of here and out of here. We've got tons of water, so maybe we temporarily disable some of the air wells. Keep one air well running, maybe. That should mean people... Yeah, but we need to switch this off to go to general worker. General worker, that is full. Do we have anyone unemployed? One person. So maybe we just stick one person back in here. Okay, they're starting to come. So we need to be harvesting these very urgently. I can't see what's happening. Ugh. Right, so small toxic cloud full of dangerous spores. Increasing our toxicity levels. Okay, we got to get under the smoke, under the spore clouds to see it. Okay, let's take a look. We just want to make sure that anything that is getting poisoned, we are harvesting. It's very difficult to see. <laughs> uh, did, was that one? It's one right there. Hiding. It's super hiding. Get that poison tree. Its level of infection is very high. I can't see. <laughs> There's more here. Hopefully they're going out and poison. Or they're going out and poisoning things. They're going out and defeating the poisony clouds. So. Hopefully they're getting out and punching those things. I mean, stop bringing stuff around. Go and punch the, the bad things. There's one here hiding. Okay. Oh, here. No, it's so close to our berry bush. We need those berry bushes. Good, you're punching. So great job, Lou. Where are you? 
There you are. Lost you. <laughs> go, Lou, go. Yes, well done. Okay, now Lou's not poisoned. Lou's moving to the scavenger hut for some reason. Uh, to move some of those resources, I imagine. Is someone getting this tree? You're getting the wrong... That is the wrong tree. Oh my goodness, you crazy. <laughs> right, can we cancel the harvest tasks on these other trees? We don't need to be harvesting the things that are not poisoned. We need to be harvesting the things that are poisoned, you crazy people. Right, go, go, go. Ah! Ah, it's spreading. Okay, I think they're going to deal with it. Probably, maybe. I mean, who's that? It's a tree. No. Who's that? Veer. Or Vera. I don't know how to say your name. Well done, you. Okay, we've got two there. And Anbu's unsure about which path to take. Anbu, I'd rather you go this way, but I honestly don't... I don't know how much it matters. Let's unlock that. And I think I'd rather you go south. He doesn't listen, though. It doesn't matter. At least this way he gets to eat. So maybe he saw the food and he was like, I'm definitely going the way the food is. Fair enough, I guess. Let's unlock this. We want people to go back into there. Our food situation is going to get worse and worse. So we are going to want people to go back into different places. I think we can close this again. <laughs> I mean, it's not actually doing anything. Let's unlock all of these. Oh, we need to get kind of as much water as we probably can. Unlock all of these. Oh, I need to just put another worker in. That's the thing that was missing. That's the ticket. And two workers back in there. That would ideally be two as well. But we still need to get these things punched, so we won't take people out of being the harvesters, but we just want to be ready. Poison-wise, we still have one person who's poisoned. Anbu is heading this way. I think the party's back, so let's get the party going. Let's get the party going. Woohoo! <laughs> I meant the scavenging party. But... We survived our first poison spore cloud. Probably. We probably survived our first poison spore cloud. We still have a few things, but it looks like everyone's punching it. Getting all those things, get all of them. And, oh, unlock that. We just need to get people back into the workers, but we are at a video time for today. And we are surviving. We just had one more person die today, which brings us total up to, what was it, four? Three? I can't remember. Four, I think. Oh, boy. Anyways, we are at a video time. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.